God gave Abraham a son, Isaac. Abraham was very old. He was 100 years old. I have a son in my old age. This may be a world record. <laughs> oh God, thank you so much. Abraham loved his son Isaac very much. What should I call him? Since my name starts with A, Isaac may be good because it sounds like Isaac. So Isaac, say daddy. Daddy. Well done, my boy. What a good boy. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> Time had passed and Isaac was becoming a young man. One day, God called to Abraham. Abraham, Abraham. Oh, yes, Lord, I am here. Take your son, whom you love, and sacrifice him as burnt offering for me. <gasps> what? But God, you promised him to me to make my descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and the sands in the ocean. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Abraham couldn't fall asleep because he couldn't stop thinking about what God had asked him to do. He had to sacrifice his only son as a burnt offering. Tonight. <laughs> Sleepless night. I cannot stop thinking about my son. I just can't. <laughs> hey, since when did you start listening to God? Just say no to him. It will be better to say no now and just enjoy your years with Isaac. You think so? I would regret it for the rest of my life, right? I mean, I've waited for him for so many years. Sir, that precious son, who gave him to you? Think of all that God has given you and how he has kept his promises to you. You are right. All I have was given to me by God, even my son, Isaac. The next morning, Abraham got up early and prepared to leave for Mount Moriah. Yeah, you said we could go hiking today. I can't wait. I love hiking. This is great. It's going to be an awesome day, Dad. On the third day, Abraham looked toward Mount Moriah. Isaac's face looked happy and carefree. But Abraham looked very troubled and sad. What kind of father are you? You would kill your own son? You should be ashamed of yourself. Sir, never forget what God has done for you. He has promised that you will be the father of many nations and people. Show us your confidence and faith. Abraham told his servants to wait for him and put the branches on Isaac's back for the burnt offering. He himself was carrying the fire and knife. Together, he and Isaac walked up the mountain. Daddy, you look pale. What's wrong? It's because of my liver. Oh, my liver's not good these days. Daddy, I see that we have fire and branches, but where's the lamb for the burnt offering? Oh, right. Son, God has promised to provide the lamb for the burnt offering. Oh, yeah. God will prepare it for us since he told us to go, right? Great. Abraham built an altar on the place God had told him and laid Isaac on it. I am so sorry, my son. I love you. And when he was about to kill Isaac, holding the knife above his head... Abraham! Abraham! Yes, Lord. I am here. Stop right there. 
since you considered God's order more important than anything, even the life of your precious son, you have proven that you truly love and respect God. Abraham looked around and saw a ram with his horn stuck in a thicket. <coughs> Abraham and Isaac were very happy and took the ram and gave it to God as a burnt offering. Our father is like this, Jehovah Jireh. Look how God provides. Thank you so much, Father God. Isaac! Father! Abraham called that place Jehovah Jireh. It means God will provide. 